Um, next is from Michael Allen Rubin, and the subject is Piper Nash Heat. Hey, Conan and Disco, were you there when Piper originally had a run with Nash? What really transpired and who got the better of the incident? Mike Rubin. I was not in, so I did not see the specific incident. However, I was very close with Nash and Hall during this period of time because Hall had a pay per view match against Piper and I was in Hall's corner. And this is like, <laughs> when I broke in the business, <clears throat> like I grew up, my favorite wrestlers were. You know, when, when I decided to train and then get into professional wrestling, Macho, Piper, Flair, Dusty, um, Honky Tonk Man. I say probably my f- top five characters that I like, the Midnight Express. Okay. <clears throat> so you, you break, break in the business and you meet your heroes. Okay. And every, Bobby Eaton, you know, Flair, uh, Macho, is it, all, all cool with me. You know, Piper was just in a different world. Okay, like like he come to the show and he had his own room and he always had a handler with him. Like like he it was Craig O'Malley was the guy that was doing it back then. Did you did you meet Craig? Do you know Craig O'Malley? Does that name sound familiar? Nick, I don't think so. Okay, he always had a beret. He was actually on TV one time when he did that (laughs) thing where Piper fought the three guys when he fought the shark and yeah, he was on TV. Yeah, yeah. but he was like his handler. Okay, Hmm. so do you know Johnny Johnny Fairplay? A little bit. Okay. Enough, I'm pretty good friends with Johnny Fairplay, and he's and we got to bring him on the show. He's very he's more than willing to talk about it. But he was Piper's handler for a while, mm-hmm. okay. And he would tell me about how Piper's uh, drug consumption throughout the day, like like what it would be, and it was it was Raven esque. <laughs> like like Raven would take like sixty pills. You know, you hear the story about Kurt Raven, how many pills they took and everything. Piper was the same way. Wow. Okay. P- Piper would, would would wake up, do do coke, uh, and take like uh, you know five per ten Percocets and like this 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 ridiculous like throughout the day wow. there was this combination of pills that the guy was taking. Right. So I knew this after the fact of of when I was in WCW. I met the, you know uh, I met Fairplay later because he told me about how Piper would just you know he had to drink like Jack and Coke and take like ten somas just to sleep. At night, you know, he was just like, he was just addicted to pills, you know? Um, but I didn't know this at the time. So we, we did a show. We're in, we're in Oakland. It's a paper. Okay. And I'm going to give you the, the, the rea- what happened. Okay. And I'm going to let, and I'm going to intersperse it with the story of fair play telling me what pipe, what's going on through Piper's mind while this is happening. So pipe, so Piper would always have, like, he'd go in his room. Okay. And they, and him and his handler would just stay in the room. Okay. And Piper was legitimately completely paranoid of Hogan. Okay, just thought that Hogan was going to be doing something to him to just absolutely screw him over. Because him and Hogan had been had been at odds for, for forever to the point that Piper never did a job for Hogan. Right. Okay, and like there's, there's a lot of history there where Piper is this paranoid drug addict because mm. of all the, the stuff he'd taken and is paranoid about Hogan, right? And would always think that Hogan was trying to do something to screw his his heat on the show, whatever, right? So we go like it's it's, it's the the show is it's, it's we're West Coast time, so the show's starting like five. So we had to get there early, like we'd be like nine, ten o'clock in the morning. So we're just hanging out, you know, me and Hall about you know, one thirty, two o'clock or two 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 thirty three. Let's say it's late in the day. Piper's been in his room all day, right? And we go, Hey, well, you wanna go to talk to him like talk this match over? Like, all right. So so we go, we knock on the door, okay? So he opens the door, like like just ha- like sticks his head out. You know what? Well, hey, we're like, hey, uh, you want to go over the match, bro? He looks like he's annihilated. Like he opens the door and like he couldn't keep his eyes open. Okay, and he's like, look at it, hey, and we're like, uh, you want to go over the match? And he's like, uh, man, you know, eh, maybe, maybe, maybe later, later, later. Uh, all right, how much later? And he closes the door and just shuts the door on us. <laughs> and me and the Hall are looking at, him, looking at each other, going, "What the f- wrong with this guy?" You know, it's like he's in the Hall's here. This guy's f- weird, man. So, so we leave. <laughs> okay, so. Fair play is telling me so. So that interaction, I told, I'm telling Fair Play, telling this story about my interaction with Piper on that that day, and he says, he goes, oh, I will tell you exactly what Roddy did there. He's coming back. He's going, hey, just, just, just let them, just let them, just let them, uh, just let them simmer. Let, let that simmer for a little bit. Like he would, <laughs> he was looking at it as a competition, right? Like right. we were coming in there to 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 go over the match to try to take advantage of him. Right, and this is his way of like, okay, they're not going to take advantage of me. This is the first thing I'm going to do. That, that was I'm going to I'm going to shoot okay. about like Savage Piper and Hug. It's very weird. Each that. other on every level, right? 
So then we, we come back like an hour later. Okay. He's, we open the door, he's knocking the door, and he's like, hey, what's up? You know, opens the door. He's completely, like, he's not fed up looking anymore. He's completely 100%. And the door, like, <laughs> yeah. so, so we're thinking, like, what was he working us earlier? Like, he's completely, he's completely, so, so it's been an hour, and he's completely changed, right? So we're going over the match, and, and all he's doing, like, the whole time is, is nodding his head in agreement and everything we're telling him. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And maybe I'll do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll do this. Yeah. And just co- completely not in agreement. We go over it. We go over it again. And he's not in agreement. And it's like, when we leave, do you think he got that? It's like, yeah, I guess. They go in the ring and p- he went into business for himself. Wow. <laughs> like, we go out and do the match and they can completely just try to, to the point, Nash wasn't even supposed to be in this angle. Like, at the end of the match, Nash just comes out because he was so pissed at. Piper, he wanted to go in there like it was, that's a that's how unprofessional he was. Wow. And it's like that was my like that was my interaction with Roddy in an angle that we were doing. Like that was the only time I worked with the guy. And it was just an absolute disaster. And this guy's one of my favorite wrestlers growing up. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so it's like my only reaction that I can't I can't lie. It, it was it was a disaster. It was terrible. Oh. It was absolutely horrible, you know. So but then, what happened? With, <laughs> what happened with him and Kev afterwards? I don't. Uh, yeah, that was a different time. That was a different. Time. I'm not sure. I mean, it may have yeah. been that show, but, but Kevin oh. slapped him. No, um, no. Um, Kevin slapped because Piper, Piper was Piper was like a f- you guy. Di, yeah, what what you're talking like, about the 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 story that you're telling was from Super Brawl in 1999, right. but Nash and Piper oh, got well, into well, it in 1997 after uh or before Spring Stampede or Slambury or something right. like that. Because yeah, so they had a history. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's a way. That's, yeah, so that was a long time ago, but it was. Kev, yeah, you know, that was a disaster. Well, Kev, so. As you know, Kev like he, he Kev talks a lot, you know, but he does back up what he says too. Like when you know, absolutely. He he uh, he. he, he I've seen him at, at TNA. Like if he has an issue with something, he'll go right to someone's face and and and, ha- and hash it out with them right there and then. And absolutely, and say what he needs to say, what he wants to say. Yeah, yeah. he's a very principled guy. Yeah. You know, he's yeah, you know, he doesn't he don't want to be taken advantage of. So no. 